Hello folks, today I want to tell you in this time of confusion, in this time of distress, in this time of so many events that are happening in the world, our world is in chaos right now. We don't know what kind of wars are going to be fought. There's rumors of wars and there is wars. But there is one person, the Lord Jesus Christ, who mentioned in the Bible that in the end days, there will be wars, there will be rumors of wars, and we see those things are happening right now. Now, are the end times upon us? Perhaps, perhaps things are going to be ending pretty soon, or perhaps God has different plan for the world because the world has seen war to the, uh, before, before in time. But I want to tell you today, if there is confusion in your life today, if there is distress in your life today, you feel alone today, you don't know who to turn to, let me tell you something, you can turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the answer, He is the way, He is the truth, and He is the life. He gives life. If you're sick today, if you're in pain today, if you need help today, you turn yourself over to the Lord Jesus Christ. You seek His help. The Heavenly Father who looked upon the world, He saw the world needed a Savior. And the Bible says He sent His only begotten Son so He can die on the cross, be sacrificed, because only His blood was worth the, the cleansing of what your soul requires. Again, only the blood of Jesus is enough for the cleansing of your soul, of my soul. So take advantage of this offer because Jesus Christ has made it available for you right now. And in this time of confusion, in this time of chaos, the only answer you can find is in the Bible is the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ loves you. He, he wants to be with you. He wants to be in your life. And He wants you to have a personal relationship with Him. Not just serve. Uh, God doesn't want you to serve a deity just like a checklist, just to be religious. No. God wants His people to love Him wholeheartedly. Again, God wants His people to love Him wholeheartedly. Stop being dogmatic. Stop being over-religious if you are one of those. It's time to repent. Repent of who you are. Because remember, our body is a temple. The Bible says our body is a temple. And the temple needs to be uh, built up. And the only way the temple can be built up is if it's going to be destroyed. And we have to sometimes destroy ourselves. We have to uh, we have to humble ourselves so God can fill us with the Holy Spirit. God can fill us with the love of God, with the love of Jesus, because golly, a lot of people in this world need the love of God, need the love of Jesus, and need to be kind-hearted towards each other. I think we can all agree with the news that we are seeing that people are just killing each other, being mean to each other, uh, demonically possessed. So let's call a spade by a spade. So right now is the time if you want to come to the presence of the Lord. You want to be full in what you are. You want to be 100% uh, used by what you are. You want, you want to be uh, doing something to the fullest, let's just say. The only way you can be expressing yourself to the fullest to maximize who you are is by coming to the Lord Jesus Christ. And he will put you in a plan. He will. Put, he has a plan for you that he's going to maximize you to your fullest potential. In every talent that God has given you, Jesus has given you, he will maximize. But if you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ, if you are a lost soul, and if you are in one of those things where you're still seeking answers, the truth is the Lord Jesus Christ. Turn to the Bible. Don't listen to the naysayers. Jesus Christ loves you enough that he died on the cross. He was thinking about you when he was on the cross. What kept him on the cross? It was his love for you and I, folks. So take this offer, folks. This is, this is the Lord Jesus we're talking about. Because when he comes back, he's going to come back for his bride. Are you part of the bride? And if you're not, it's time for you to become the bride of Christ. So when Christ comes, I want to meet you. 
in heaven. I want to see you in heaven. And I want God to say to you, I want the Lord Jesus to, to say to you, well done, thou good and faithful servant. God bless you.